Today I messed up, I'm never touching a Nintendo Switch ever again. So my family usually opens presents Christmas morning around 8 a.m., but due to my mother working this year we had to start at 6.30. I know, it is as horrible as it sounds. Now, my brother and I are of age and old enough to understand the Santa process. However, we have a younger sister who still fully believes. She did the list, put out the cookies, yada yada. The main thing she wanted this Christmas, and last year, was a Nintendo Switch. I don't know much about it other than it's expensive and could make a child's Christmas wish come true. So it comes midnight and my mother and I are wrapping up the presents for everyone and checking off the list to make sure nothing was forgotten. Everyone else is asleep. But then we come across the Nintendo. My mom asks me where it is, I have no clue. I go up and ask my dad, he has no clue. Everyone in my family, no clue. We all begin scrounging the house, top to bottom. Every corner, every drawer, every hiding spot. Even the vents? Time passes, we're still looking, it's two in the morning. We should have been asleep an hour ago. My mother has to wake up in four hours to get ready for a full day of work and be with us for presents. She's crying, my dad's pissed, I'm nervous. I send my parents up to bed and tell them to leave it up to me. Still don't know why I said this. So I stay up, still looking. It's now 4 a.m., I'm ready to pass out. I decide to write the letter from Santa myself. Stating the following. Dear underscore, I hit a major storm in the middle of the night and lost Dasher and 60% of my presents. Expect a delivery from the elves within the next few days. So I'm looking up what stores I can buy this Nintendo Switch again, of course they're all closed at 4am but they're closed all day for Christmas too. Now I'm bugging I decide to let the note do its magic, and pray I can find a Nintendo Switch to buy again. Christmas morning comes along, she reads the note, she's freaking out that Santa even made it in such a bad storm. But she's also freaking out that Dasher is on the loose. I try to calm her down and she keeps screaming that Santa can't fly without all his reindeer and is probably missing. If you've ever seen Christmas Chronicles, she hit it spot on, finally we open the rest of the presents. We finish up presents, my mom goes to work, my sister is playing with her stuff and I'm checking out my new bling. I then remember that my polish for jewelry was in the trunk of the car. I don't know why, don't ask, I open up the trunk, and there it is. The Nintendo Switch sitting right there. Staring at me. I start crying tears of joy. I don't have to spend another 300 on a console and games. I wrap it instantly and leave it on the front bench. I go upstairs, play a hoofing sounds of a horse from my speaker, and make a loud bang. What was that my sister I don't know, it sounded like it came from outside. Want me to check? Me, sis. It's Dasher. IT has to be. He has it. She runs as fast as I've ever seen her run down the stairs and whips the door open. Before even seeing the present on the bench, she goes to look at the roof to see if Dasher is there. Lol. Finally, she falls upon the gift wrapped up on the bench. She grabs it, runs inside, opens it, cries. Santa really does listen. My sister and then I cried. Again. Because I was so relieved it was over. All in all, she was happy, I was happy, my parents mad they left it somewhere so stupid, and Christmas was even more fun for my sister. I am never touching a Nintendo Switch ever again. Edit, I understand people are commenting that they believe this is a made-up story. I wish it was. I did not plan nor enjoy going through the stress at first but at the end it was all worth it. I'm the oldest sister of this family and believe it's important to keep her belief going. It brings our family joy to see her so excited for Santa. This is literally my first time posting on Reddit, and I had no clue it would blow up like this. I read them with my boyfriend all the time, specifically this community, and decided this story was worth a share. Thanks to everyone who has sent Christmas wishes. God bless you all and Merry Christmas. Too long. Didn't read. We lost my sister's most wanted Christmas present, lost our minds looking for it, and it ended up being in the car trunk. Today I messed up by not taking a second to think after my son came out to me. My husband and I have always had an inkling that our son was on the LGBTQ spectrum. My son coming out to me was not a shock in the grand scheme of things. I went up to my son's room to ask what he wanted for dinner. I knocked and went in. 
I was tired after work and things weren't really registering. He just said mom, I'm gay. For some reason it just didn't register that he had just told me something so major for him. I don't know what part of my brain thought this was a good idea, but I just said, okay, do you want pizza for dinner? It took a few minutes for me to realize what I said and that I did not react properly. I went back to him and apologized and gave him the whole I love you just the same spiel and we laughed about my reaction, but I'm still so embarrassed and mad at myself. Definitely wasn't the way I had always planned to respond. Too long. Didn't read. Was tired after work and said okay and offered my son pizza after he came out to me.